Southwest, law enforcement often depended on a good horse. Even in modern times, the U.S. Border Patrol depends on horses to get into backcountry. Too rough for a vehicle, but not too rough for the smugglers and border crossers the agents seek out. As Nine in Your Sides, Craig Smith reports, where the patrol gets a lot of its horses may surprise you. These horses are wild mustangs. They once ran free in the American West, but the U.S. Bureau of Land Management collected them when their herds grew too large for the land to support them. They will go to the Border Patrol, ranchers, and maybe trail ride operators. But first, they'll go to an Arizona prison. As prison inmates prepare the horses and themselves for a new life outside. You know, every one of these horses came out of the wild. And uh, so if I relate that to myself, I kind of pretty much did too. Leela Jacko is serving four years for a weapons violation. He says the patience, love, and responsibility he's learned training horses like Tonto will help him stay out of trouble once he's released. If you're gonna change, you have to, you know, you, you gotta let go of all the old ways. You have to, you know, accept the new ways. Come right back towards me. Now catch him before he turns, there, there you go, good. Randy Helm was a police officer and a pastor before his skills with wild Mustangs led him to head up the program. He says after about four months, the Mustangs are ready for the Border Patrol and other riders. But he says if they went back to the wild, they would revert to their old wild behavior. He warns inmates who've worked to control their lives, they can revert too. If you leave here and you get back with your old herd, short period of time, you know, all the progress you made suddenly gets lost because you revert back to old, old thinking, old culture, and, and you're right back where you don't want to be. And he says after four years and 60 inmates, none have been sent back to prison. Justin Valderrama had no experience with horses when he joined the program. He'd like to work with horses like Ginger when he gets out, but even if he can't, he feels the program will help him succeed. It's taught me a lot as, as far as uh, just uh, holding a job, coming to, coming to work every day, and, uh, and that's helped me a lot. Everybody's ahead on this program. Horses like Frostbite here get a good home, the Border Patrol gets a valuable asset, and individuals can buy these horses too for about $1,000 after adoption fee and training. And that's a much better deal than you normally get if you bought a horse any other way. Mm -hmm. And when inmates from the program get out, they can adopt one of these horses if they have the means to care for them. When we met Leland Jacko, he was heading home soon and planning to bring Tonto with him. He's, he's, a, he's a lifelong commitment, but uh, I'm blessed. My, my, uh, my children all grew up on horses. They, they were in Jim Canna growing up. They grew up on horses, so uh, I've got five grandkids who are going to get to ride this guy. Craig Smith, take on nine on your side. Now, those are some beautiful horses. Mm. What a fascinating story. Really? I didn't know that program existed. Yeah.